How important are essential amino acids to muscle health? Very important. So important that NASA commissioned a study to see if it could use them to reverse the effects of muscle loss in a zero gravity environment. Listen to this clip from a seminar featuring Dr. Robert Wolf, world-renowned expert on nutrition and muscle metabolism, as well as a leading authority on amino acids. So you got the funding. Obviously, I believe now you're up to 25 individual human clinical studies. Let's talk about some of those. One was with NASA, the space program, wanted help improving their astronauts' performance. Tell us a little bit about that study. Yeah, the uh, problem with spaceflight is that with lack of gravity, you have no resistance. So the muscles are not working. They're just uh, completely at rest. And as a result, there's a lot of muscle loss. And in fact, the muscle loss is so severe that that's the number one limitation for why there's never been an adventure to Mars, because the muscle loss, we can calculate the muscle loss would be so much that they couldn't function to fly back. They'd have no muscle strength to operate uh, the spacecraft. Um, and now the, 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 you say, you think, well, optimal nutrition, but then you have logistical issues. There's, there's uh, food prep and, main, uh, and, and, and supply of food that would last a year. And every gram that goes on a space flight has important value. So the goal was to have the biggest bang for the buck, the most potent anabolic agent to maintain muscle mass while at a complete inactivity. And we, uh, we used a model, a ground-based model of complete bed rest because, the, and this was a month of volunteers staying in complete bed rest, never out of the horizontal position. And they get a, a rate of muscle. for how long? F well, our studies were a month. A lot of the NASA studies go for 90 days, but this wow. is for a month. And these uh, individuals lose rate and muscle at about the same rate as they lose it in, sp in space. And we were able to show that the uh, supplementation with EAAs almost completely eliminated the loss in muscle strength and function that occurred over that 30 days. We repeated the study, not for space flight, uh, but for uh, health, but for the fact that older people are routinely put in hospital bed for 10 days, and that the loss of muscle in bed rest in elderly over 10 days was more than in the younger people for 30 days. And again, the EAA supplementation was able to prevent, uh, prevent the loss of, of uh, muscle. And the progress in actual space flight has been slow, and, and it's kind of a, a real a tragedy in the slowness because our, our process was then put into the space flight of the Challenger, which was the, the um, one that blew up. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so it, it, that, that side of the story has, has had a tragic side to it, but we were able to continue that, and in fact, John Glenn was one of our subjects. And, uh, and, and so we anticipate, as things, it's a government operation, so things go very slowly, but uh, we do anticipate that, uh, but that this is going to be uh, incorporated into their space flight. And I should say that where I was just this last week was at the uh, U.S. Army, uh, um, it's called Arium, which is the base for providing nutrition for um, uh, special operations. And mm -hmm. that... Uh, they're also very seriously considering incorporating amino acid, essential amino acids because, again, it has to be lightweight, it has to be uh, easily transported and being able to be maintained so that it's really an ideal uh, supplement for uh, special operations. And hopefully we'll be getting that study going soon as well. If you found this video helpful, like, share, and subscribe. For Dr. Wolf's full presentation, see the link below. To live stronger at any age, visit myohealth.com and take the 30-day MyoHealth Challenge.